on guys and welcome back to my channel my name is twist and today we are going to be taking a look at this really cool underground nuclear bunker with a redstone lava entrance yes I know that sounds absolutely amazing we got nuclear in there we have redstone and we have lava now before we get into this video I do want to mention for my subscribers watching that I am back making videos I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stay we have to see how this relationship you know turns out we gotta see if we like each other or not but joking aside I do appreciate all of you guys watching this video and can we just go ahead and just smash that like button guys I really do need your support more than ever right now so let's see if we can match those likes to the views let's get a thousand views and a thousand likes you know that kind of ratio going on but either way let's uh, jump into this video so right in front of me you guys can see that we have a lava pit and this lava pit is no ordinary lava pit I did make it like look like a regular lava pit we added like some stone around here as well as some other blocks that you would normally find in a minecraft world and yeah th this is pretty much an artificial one and then the entrance is is in the inside of it but I'm gonna show you guys how to build this don't worry let's first take a look at how it works though so what I'm gonna do is basically jump straight into the lava and enter our base all like super uh, secret agent style so I'm gonna run up jump and oh no I'm burning up I'm burning up the door <laughs> wasn't open oh gosh okay so I totally forgot to open up the door that's one of the security measures of our bunker it's it's not just hidden it also has a redstone door that you can lock from the outside Okay, so um, you can also lock it from the inside. I just remembered I didn't add that switch, but I will add it and I'll show you guys how to add it as well. Let's walk up and um, actually show you how to open up this bunker so you can actually use it and not burn to a crisp. So yeah, what you do is basically um, you would have a hidden input in your world. Mine's going to be right next to this pretty little flower. And then we're going to just drop an item onto that block and it's going to open up our door. And once that door is open up, we can just jump straight into the lava and this time not die, hopefully. Okay, so let's go from here and get a nice little, uh, little um, height. That way we actually shoot through the lava and not get fried this time and just jump and go right here and oh gosh fall faster and we fall down into the water we lose about three and a half hearts there but we fall and safely land inside of our bunker now first thing right off the bat I want to mention is that these walls are lined with obsidian and you know what that means it's gonna be blast proof we'll be testing this on a separate video but um yeah we're gonna like install some mods and show you guys how this bunker reacts to nuclear explosions and um like meteorites and stuff like that I always find this video is really cool so definitely um click it the link in the description or something or subscribe to the channel to see that but either way this is going to be our front entrance we got some more obsidian here some nice design with the stone i'm just going to go ahead and enter by right clicking on, on that button and we're going to walk in to our lovely room i have shaders on so it's kind of dark but i prefer it this way it seems more like bunkerish it seems more like it is an underground bunker but either way inside of our room we have um a fairly small area but it has all of the essentials we have our crafting table here we have a nice little decoration on the wall with furnaces and as you guys can see obsidian lining this now this entire wall this entire area including the roof is lined with obsidian the obsidian is built into the actual design of this um, bunker so yeah we have the bed here at furnace like I said with the obsidian we have a, a one chest for storage we also have um, some lighting as you guys can see on the roof as well as uh, in the back of these little leaves I wanted to add some leaves that way we have like a little feel of the outside and also we have two armor stands here with some item frames I think they're pretty cool decorations they're also very nice storage for your armor now on this side we have a very nice design and this is going to be let's go back into creative mode for a second here just to see what block this is because i forgot this is going to be our red nether brick i think it looks pretty cool with the quartz i want to try something different so i went red also with the red carpet and yeah so that's basically going to be like our roof and our first room and there is a bit of redstone here so i'm going to show you guys that right now we have this button on the right side which is going to allow us to turn the lights on and off so it's going to turn off turn the lights on and off for the top as well as in these locations and we could go ahead and right click and turn it back on I'm gonna show you guys how to create all of this it's pretty simple and also we have ourselves a realistic elevator over here 
Now, there's a button on this side of the wall, but I'm saving that for later. That's a super secret special button, which we'll get back to at the very, very end because it has like a really, really awesome surprise. But either way, this is going to be our realistic elevator. You guys know this. This is like one of my favorite redstone creations. It's so awesome. And yeah, let's just go right into our elevator, hit that button, and then go down, and now we enter the second level of our bunker. This is going to be a two-level bunker, the top level being our, like, places to store armor, places to sleep, places to cook and craft. But down here, I wanted to have, like, a little farm. That way we could survive any explosion if it happens. We have our own environment down here, and I wanted to show you guys this. We have... Uh, a uh, potato farm because potatoes are the best thing to grow to give you the most nutrition But either way we also have ourselves a water source that's coming from like underground That's the whole idea behind that we have some torches in order for our potatoes to grow and also an enchantments area so if you guys haven't guessed already these walls are aligned with obsidian and what I mean by that is the walls are not actually completely made out of obsidians behind this it is sort of made into a pattern that way it's more fun for us you know if you set off an explosion and it's completely made out of obsidian of course it's going to be able to stop any blast but i made it in such a way that it's kind of fair and cool to see when those nuclear explosions happen how far it could get down into this bunker so either way let's go back up to the top and take a look at another redstone creation that i added in let's uh go up in our elevator and there we go just hit that button and here we are at the top this is going to be where our next redstone creation is it's going to be a hidden escape route outside of our bunker now this is going to act as our exit as well there really is no other exit besides this one because of course when you fall down in that lava trap and you fall into the water there's really no way of getting back up there so i had to create another way of exiting and it's also like a secret area because you don't want someone like entering through this way but either, um, either uh, way, let's go ahead and right-click on this button to activate our hidden entrance. It's going to pull out those blocks, light up a walkway, and take us to that hidden exit. Now, this area is also lined with obsidian, as you can see. I tried to make it as small as possible, and also the roof of this tunnel is completely lined with obsidian. Meaning that if there's a blast, like, directly above it, it won't completely destroy, like, all the circuitry. So that was one thing that was absolutely necessary when creating this uh, bit of the bunker. Unlike the rest of the bunker, where it's, like, uh, sort of like a pattern, I had to do the top roof of this tunnel with full obsidian otherwise it just wouldn't work in a blast situation and you can't have your tunnel be totally destroyed by the blast how would you get out you'd be trapped underground so let's just um walk down over here and take a look at the exit it's going to be like a ladder going straight up the first thing you want to do is uh hit this uh button over here to just open up that it's going to open up a hole in the ground and that will allow us to exit but in order to exit we need to first grab ourselves some ladders so i put a chest over here with ladders and once we get to the top we basically just want to place two ladders and then get all the way to the top and then exit and then um basically close this entrance again so what i need to do is grab the ladder and throw it over here okay there we go i was trying to guess where it was it's going to break the two ladders and then push it out and then you can collect it and then the area covers up again so now comes the fun part of building our bunker don't worry guys this is going to be super easy the first thing you want to do is create a workspace for our hidden entrance now to do that you want to have a 10 high by 9 long square in the ground and this square is going to have a two block border on each side. Once you have that, you want to also dig the hole seven blocks deep. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not counting the floor. All right, now that's really important because once you build up to the top and you create all of the redstone, it has to be at a certain height in order to add the fences and the lava. And you can mess up on that and you'll have to basically rebuild everything. So be sure that it is seven blocks deep and you have seven blocks to work with. Either way, let's go ahead and get started now. The first thing you want to do is come on over to the nine side. This is going to be the nine long side and count from the left hand side. One, two, three, four, five. Place a block down over here just to mark it. And then count one, two, and then create a three by three area right here at the center. That's going to help you um, build and follow along with me. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab some blocks and place down a two by three area right over here and right over here. And then place a 
one by two area there and then grab yourself some sticky pistons and place a set of sticky pistons just like this a three by three area or stack of three sticky pistons facing towards the center and then we want to place three sticky pistons right over here then we want to grab ourselves another block and place it right over there in these uh, locations the next thing we want to do is grab some sticky pistons and place it facing up this is going to be on the second row of our sticky pistons and then finally we want to just grab stone blocks since this is going to be under lava and place it right over here or it could just be anything that you like you could customize the base that's really why i'm showing you guys how to build it but once we have that we want to grab ourselves some redstone torches and place it right over here on these bottom blocks then we want to come around here to the back and grab ourselves another block of your choice and place a block up like this two blocks down here or three blocks down there and then one up like that two down here one up one down and one up now once you have that you want to place a block up like this a block out like that delete that block and then extend this out by one more then you want to place a block over here or actually you want to place a uh, upside down slab here and here and then you want to place a block over here a slab right here and then a block over here you want to grab yourselves a redstone repeater and place it down right over there another one and place it over here and then set this to three ticks place one over here and set this to three ticks then you want to grab some redstone and place it all along these blocks starting from here up the slab down over here over here and over there now once you have that you want to grab yourselves another side of your blocks place down three over here and then one up over here two down over here and basically the same thing like you did on the other side this little v pattern place a bit of redstone dust there and you can just place redstone dust on these locations then you want to place blocks like this slab right there a block right over here and then an upside down slab over there with a redstone repeater going into that block you want to set this to a three tick delay and then place down a bit of redstone there and then set a redstone repeater there now once you have that you want to come on over to this side and place a block over here extend it out over here place a redstone repeater over there going into another block and then you want to place like a block over here delete the block at the bottom and then create a three by three area okay so now once you're up to this point we could just finish off the system by grabbing some sticky pistons placing two of them right over here building a block up right over there and placing a sticky piston facing up then grabbing some slime blocks and placing down two right over there you want to replace this block with an obsidian and then place your ground block on top of the two slime blocks you also want to not place any block in this position so make sure you don't place anything there and then place a obsidian on the left and right hand side i mainly do that just in case i accidentally place another block and break it you don't have to do it but i think it looks better and also since we're making a bunker you want to use as much obsidian as possible but either way um now we need to come over here and place down one two three repeaters and then one more over here set this to four ticks set this to three ticks and then we want to place down a bit of redstone dust right over there i'm gonna grab some more of our blocks and just place these down in this location and then we want to grab ourselves a lever and activate it on this block and it should go ahead and create our uh, oh we missed something here let's see what we missed so this is why you have to wait before you test it this one bit of redstone dust messed us up i totally forgot to place that but let's hit that lever again and there you go that's going to be our entrance way now we just have to add the gate above it and then add the lava now to do that we want to just grab ourselves another block i'm gonna use stone because that's what's naturally under lava and just build up an area just like this build it around and then this is going to be very very simple i'm just going to build all the way around and uh, what we have to do is just grab ourselves some fence gates it cannot be fences or any other type of item fences works the best fence gates and then place it right in these positions like that then you just want to open them up and now lava could fall on them they won't burn and then you could just travel through them once the doorway is opened up 
So there's the space filled out. The next thing we have to do is of course terraform it a bit to make it look like a real lava pit. I'm gonna do something random. You guys can add in something that's more like natural. You could go around the world and see how the lava pits are made, but I'm just gonna do something just like this over here. And just connect it up, very simple. That way we have like a, a contained area to dump the lava in. Maybe build it out over here a little bit and then in there. So it doesn't look too like too many straight lines. Doesn't look like a square or anything. I think that's a pretty nice lava pit. Then maybe add some two blocks up over here because lava pits usually have those. And yeah, that's gonna basically be that. I'm gonna grab myself a lava bucket and also unlock the doorway, the gateway. And to do that, I need to just, you know, break this block over here. Open that up. And also I wanna make sure and just for the sake of not destroying anything, just fill up these spaces in case lava does fall in. And also looking a bit nicer and less confusing. Just quickly do that. Okay, so come back up here, grab ourselves our lava and it should not fall through the gates. So just I'm spreading our lava, it should spread evenly. There you go, and if we're coming under here, you can see that this is gonna go straight over those gates. So there we go, we're good to go. All we need to do is just spread out our lava now and spread it directly on top, you just um, shift click. Okay, so I ran into a problem. You wanna make sure that when you're placing the lava down, you place it directly on top of the fences. Meaning that you have to be like inside the lava or place it down quickly where you know, you can't accidentally place at the bottom because that's what I did earlier and it almost completely messed up my system. So that's going to be our lava pits. Now let's go ahead and build up our water entrance as well as our doorway. What we need to do for that is come underneath and basically open up our lava entrance. Jump on through. Should be right over here. There you go, it's falling slowly. Fall down to the bottom and then once you're here, dig down one two, three, four, five. Either way, what I did here was just add in a pattern and this pattern is gonna go something like this. Yet again, I didn't want to add like just straight obsidian walls because it'll be kind of unfair and obviously totally foolproof, which is not really fun. I added like this pattern just like that, basically on three sides of this. And then this side is going to be my entrance. Now this side is going to be pointed towards like where my most underground space is. I think there's like a lake somewhere on, on the other direction. So what I'm going to do is just uh, dig out one, two, three, like a three by three area. Maybe one more just beneath this block. Uh, fill the space back up for now and then just complete what I was doing here. So just have these little things here. There you go. And then grab some stone bricks. Place these areas right here. Yet again, you can just use anything you like. You can also replace these colored blocks. I didn't do that at the beginning. But you can also always just uh, destroy your torches and just replace them later. And just do that. There you go. And now we just need to grab our uh, some stone slabs or just let's use brick slabs. Just make it look a little bit better. There you go. And then place water right over here. You can also place obsidian in the ground. I think I did this. to give it a nice little pattern. Also maybe replace the floor. I mean, you can just really do anything you like here. I just tried to make it look nice, as nice as I could. And then what you want to do is uh, delete a two by three area right here. We get that block and delete another two by three area. So it's going to be one, two, three blocks away from the water. This is going to be our door. Uh, for this, we could just grab a regular um, oak door for now, like a placement. Then we want to grab our obsidian and place three obsidian like this, three over here as well. And I think this is roughly what I did. I'm, tr I'm trying to remember, but I'm not really sure. Place one block down over here. I'm pretty sure this is what I did and then place obsidian like that. 
Okay, so you're totally entitled to just uh, replace these blocks over here. You don't have to. I'm going to just to make it look better. So you guys could not think it looks absolutely horrible. And I think there was proceeding here and here. Or just possibly just wrapping around the entire doorway. Either one's fine. I don't think... I think it's justified to have obsidian uh, blocking up the doorway. So I'm gonna try to make this as close as I can. These are the measurements that I wrote down. I'm gonna turn off my shaders real quick so I could see. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to do this, guys. We're gonna do this together. So let's do a night vision here. So we can uh, see, there you go. And 12 that way so of course it's going to be or actually sorry 11 this way and 12 that way so let's just do one more and the reason i know it's 11 this way is because the door's in the center so that's why we need 11. so that's one let's just count a different one here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and twelve okay so twelve now we need one two here so we're going to start from the middle we got one, so we need five on each side. One, two, three, four. There you go, five. Uh, that's one. This is, oh, oh, there's, oh, there's gravel here. Just great. <laughs> the worst, most annoying thing to build next to underground. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that should be 11 by now 12. One, two, three, Four. Oh my gosh, so much gravel. So I skipped ahead here as I cleared out the area. Let's just go over what I did. We have our original 11 by 12 area right over here, which is the red. And then within that 11 by 12 area, we have a seven by nine area. This is going to be seven, that's going to be nine. And this is one block away from our door. And if you've noticed, I've dug down one below our door. So this is where our door originally was standing. But now we have like a layer of obsidian kind of going around here. And also I deleted the blocks right on top of the doorway. Now we need to do all those things in addition to having a space of seven blocks tall. Including this block here at the bottom. So you want to start at the bottom of the doorway like that. One, two, and then build all the way up to seven. That way we have all the space for the roof and the redstone and obsidian. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and start grabbing our quartz and our red nether brick as well as obsidian and start building out our wall. For our wall, we could do our obsidian in any pattern that you want, but I'm just going to do something like this. I'm not going to replace this block because I want to have this pattern on this side of the wall over here. So I'm just going to do something like that. It should be enough to protect us or actually we could just do it the opposite way like that. That also works but yet again it's totally up to you i like spreading out the obsidian that way yet again it's more fair and you can see a better um picture of like the before and after of a nuclear blast which we'll get to like yet again in, a, in another video so once you have your obsidian inside of the walls we want to grab ourselves some red nether brick come on over to this side and place down a one by two area build up till you're the, you're at the top of our doorway which is going to be four blocks. Do the same thing on the other side. Build up a, another set of blocks right over here on both sides of our doorway. Build out one, two over here, one, two here, and then one out like this on each side. And then build this up yet again, four. Once you have that, you want to grab yourselves some quartz stairs, place them like this, one upside down, one right side up. Then you want to destroy this block, place down your redstone lamp, and then place down your leaves on top of that. The next thing I want to do is create the roof. So to create the roof, we want to come one block off and place a block up like this and I'm gonna just do start from this pattern really doesn't matter um, where you start the pattern but I'm just gonna do it like that off of the front door and then we're just gonna scatter some nether brick throughout this area so we made our roof let's quickly now add redstone lighting to do that we need to come over here 
to the center block and count over one, two, and then count one, two again, and then destroy these three blocks, skipping a block for each block you break. Do the same thing on the other side, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three. Grab your redstone lamps, place it in these positions. Grab redstone repeaters, place it down in these locations in between our, or just before our um, redstone lamps. So it's not lined up, it's just before. And then you place redstone dust all along these blocks. It might be hard to see what our nether brick, but it's definitely on there. And then we're just gonna keep this here for now. We'll have to place a T flip flop switch, but let's just go ahead and bring this redstone all the way down here to the top of the doorway. Then destroy these layer of blocks right behind our quartz staircase that's upside down. Destroy the block right behind our quartz staircase. And then place a block like this over here. I'm just gonna place, it could be any block, it doesn't have to be obsidian, but I'm just placing it so it differentiates itself from the other blocks around here so I know where to put the redstone. So you put a repeater here and a repeater there going into that block to power a redstone lamp. And then I'm gonna put, um, some of uh, our stone bricks up here, and then some redstone here and there. And that should go ahead and uh, activate all of the lighting. And to test this, we just need to grab ourselves a redstone torch, place it right over there, and boom, there you go. Now we need to build out the rest of the walls. One of the mistakes I made earlier is by making the walls like this. Uh, if it does look like this, change it, but it should actually be out towards this direction. So let's just quickly fix that. There you go. And then we want to grab ourselves some quartz blocks. So let's grab ourselves some quartz and then place quartz in these locations. Uh, right over here as well. Actually not there. Um, we want to grab red nether brick, place it like this and have our quartz like that. Then we want to grab some quartz staircases. We need to do this, there you go. And then a temporary block uh, over here, upside down, there you go. And then do upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up. Okay, so that's how it was a lot easier. So that's this section now completed. We could add that hand door a little bit later. I'm just gonna do it in the order that I originally built it in. And now we need to grab ourselves some more quartz. And, oops, I got lost over here for a second. Uh, build out like this, one block on that side, one block on that side, build it up. And this is sort of just gonna be like a little border here. There you go. I placed furnaces in there, so let's just quickly grab ourselves some furnaces. Now what we need to do is clear out a space for our elevator, start building that, and work on the second floor. So I dug out my area and I'll show you guys how to do it. Now this top section we'll dig later, but for now what I did was coming back behind our red concrete or behind your quartz, I dug down seven blocks. It's going to be six blocks in this direction and nine blocks in this direction. Once we have that, we want to grab ourselves our sticky pistons and come to the left hand side and count one, two, three, four, then one, two, and three, and place down a two by two area of sticky pistons. Then place slime blocks on top, and a block of your choice on top of that. I'm gonna place glowstone, that way we have lighting inside of the elevator. Once we have that, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some obsidian, place one down here at this sticky piston, one at this slime block, one up over here, and then one up like this. Once we have that, we want to place down an obsidian block coming down like this. Grab ourselves a regular block. I'm gonna use my white concrete. Build one down like this, and then build another one down like this, and then out one more. Then build one, two, three, one. Grab yourselves a redstone repeater. Set, uh, put it there and set it to two ticks. Grab yourselves an upside down slab and build out two like this. Make sure you delete this one. Place a redstone repeater here, set that yet again to two ticks. Place one over here, set that to a four tick delay, or a uh, three tick delay. And place down redstone all along these areas. Now once you have that, you want to make sure you place a bit of redstone dust there. 
grab yourselves a lever and just test out the system. So the input would be right over here. Make sure you place redstone dust there as well. And there you go. Once you activate it, it should go to the ground floor of this area. And it should be centered. Not sure why it isn't centered. So the problem over here was that I actually built out 13 instead of 12. So if you built out 12, you should be fine, but let's carry on with the build. So what I'm gonna do is just place some nether brick on each side of this, and then an extra layer over here. Of course, yet again, you should run into no problems if you built 12 out. The next thing we need to do is grab some more obsidian and place two blocks right here at the bottom. This is where the uh, second floor entrance is going to be. Then activate that elevator and place two more obsidian blocks right over there. Destroy that. And you want to also make sure that you have four tick delay here, not three tick delay, because it didn't work when I tried it previously. But once you have that, you want to come down to our input, build out one, two, destroy that block in the middle, grab yourselves a button, place it on the face of that, obsidian block, place a redstone torch on this side of it. Make sure you place an obsidian block on top of that redstone torch, another redstone torch on top of that obsidian block, an obsidian here with a bit of redstone dust on top, and then a block up like that. And then you want to place a button here. You want to grab yourselves some more blocks of your choice. It doesn't have to be obsidian. And build two blocks out like this. Stick your piston up like that. You can destroy those two blocks. Place a stone slab or any type of slab like this next to our sticky piston with a block on top of our sticky piston, a block down like this, and then a block up, and then a block down. Grab some redstone dust, place it here going into that block. This is essentially going to create a flip-flop. Place a repeater going into this block, going into a bit of redstone dust, going into a sticky piston on the bottom of that block with a block of redstone on the face of that then grabbing another block of your choice and building one out like this with a bit of redstone dust there now once you have that you should be able to activate our elevator using both of our buttons so let's go ahead and test that out there you go and now we just need to add the doorways now the doorways are pretty simple we just need to grab ourselves some slime blocks and build one, oh, sorry, we want to grab another block of our choice and build one, two, three out from the, this top section of the floor here. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. Grab our sticky pistons and build one, two, like that. Destroy these three blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three on that side. And then grab our slime blocks, build one, two, three up like this. And make sure that you destroy all of the blocks here because it, slime blocks cannot be touching any other blocks, otherwise it will break the entire system because they'll be unable to move. So just for the sake of keeping things clean, I'm just gonna destroy a layer up here. Like I was saying, I didn't destroy anything up, like I didn't clear out the area up here just yet. I was just gonna do that as we build. So just build up one, two, three here with one of the slime blocks touching the sticky piston like that. Do the same, but opposite on the other side. Just like that. Now you see why we need the obsidian block over there, as well as over here. Do the same thing on the other side. And now we need to grab ourselves some more obsidian. Place obsidian blocks on top of our sticky pistons like that. Then what we want to do is, or actually place it on top of the slime block, not the st sticky piston, like the slime block right next to our sticky piston and place redstone torches on the back sides of these obsidian blocks. Now we need to place redstone torches up here to invert the doors. That way, when you go up to the top, the door is open. And then like when you're not at the bottom, the door is closed. I use quartz for my doorway, so I'm just going to grab some more of my quartz, fill out these areas with my quartz blocks, and then use the quartz to build down like this beneath our torch obsidian blocks, build out one, two, three, bring it around here, like that, 
and then place redstone dust all along these blocks. Once you have that, you want to grab some more blocks of your choice and build one up like this and then one down like that. And then place a bit of redstone there. Then place a redstone torch here with a block on top. Block up like this, two blocks over like this, and then one block over like that. Place on a redstone repeater there. The three tick delay. And two bits of redstone dust just like that. Destroy this block. Place a bit of redstone dust there. This is actually set to two ticks, not three ticks. The next thing you want to do is grab some more blocks and come down to this side, build out a two by two area. Place a redstone repeater going towards that direction. Set this to a three tick delay and place on two bits of redstone dust just like that. Now the last thing we need to do is grab some obsidian, place down obsidian blocks all within the inside because you can't place any other blocks since our doors of slime blocks will be opening and closing as well as our elevator will be going up. So we can just fill this out with obsidian till you get to the ground floor. But I like just going all the way up to the top because it just makes the elevator look cleaner. So we're gonna hit this button, it's gonna lift the elevator up. It's gonna open up the doorway and allow us to like just build here unrestricted. And I just like outlining, like putting some obsidian over here. You don't have to. You can just keep the space if you want. But um, yeah, let's just keep the space since I won't be able to do it to the other side. Let's just finish off, finish off this build, excuse me, by building up one more layer, which is gonna be our roof like that, and then placing, I did glowstone, I normally do glass, but we're underground, so I did glowstone, and surrounding it like that, with obsidian blocks, just like this. And we're just gonna build the bottom first. There you go, um, two blocks here, block here, like basically all along the slime blocks. Block there, and here, we just need to like destroy the area down here. Uh, once we have that, we could fill in these two blocks, and that's our elevator done. Yet again, it is not even, but we can go ahead and use it, and it works just fine. So the next thing I'm gonna do is build our um, bottom area, and to do that, we just need to clear out a space, and that space is going to be equal to the space of our, I believe this was six, seven by nine area, which was the original spot we highlighted. That's why I didn't change the floor just yet. So yeah, that's what I'm basically gonna do, just dig down, straight straight down. I mean, obviously I have a tunnel down here, but we're gonna make this level with the floor. And then once you have the space cleared out, we could uh, just start building. Okay, so for this top area, what I did was I replaced the floor with quartz and then just added in the carpet at the center of the room. Now we're just gonna go down to the second floor and check out how I fixed that as well. Dug out the area. We sort of took that border and just brought it all the way down and leveled it with our elevator. And then I built up a wall around here, which is what you should have if you just have a normal cave without tunnels or normal underground bunker without tunnels. The next thing we do is just grab our obsidian and yet again make the pattern on the wall. It could start from any location and just fill it all the way around. And once you have that, we could uh, just move on to the next step. So there you go, I placed down my obsidian. Now it's time to add in our other blocks. I'm just gonna fill everything out here with chisel quartz and then we can just start adding some detail to it. So I'm just gonna add this right above the border yet again. So the room is gonna become a little bit smaller than the top room. Just make sure we don't block up the elevator. Let's build this around. And also we're gonna have to change the floor to grass if you're doing the build exactly like, exactly like how I did, excuse me. Um, yeah, let's just continue building this. And grab ourselves some grass. Oops, okay, there we go. And just for the sake of uh, speeding up the video, I do have a world edit. So let's just uh, replace the floor there with grass. Oops. Um, 
Spiced and slash that's grass. I'm currently into like the two hours of making this video, so uh, just excuse me if I'm just messing up a bit. But either way, there you go. We have the floor now made out of grass. You can make this room any size you want. I just made a smaller room because I didn't want to go overboard. I usually like spend way too long creating these things and just end up never finishing it. So I just wanted to finish something that was uh, just simpler to create. Uh, I'm gonna build out some obsidian here. Um, just play some quartz over here as well. And these uh, locations, and then grab our red nether brick. I'm gonna do a, a line like this, just like the top. And I believe we did like a top section this time. Like this particular design. Oops. That. And grab some more of this and we sort of just make like a pattern like that, just center block. Yeah, I think that's nice. We have a little bit more room to work with this time, so I'm gonna place my water source over here, just dig it into the wall. Grab our torches, place our torches in these locations. Just build it up like that. Maybe an extra one over there. And yeah, that's basically my bottom room. Super simple to do. Final thing is going to be our escape exit. So let's start building our escape hatch. One thing you do have to correct if you're following along exactly with me is that this was supposed to be one block further. So before you would notice that there, it, it looks like this, like that. What I did was I just built over it. Like there's another layer of this behind it. So I just corrected my mistake, just build over it and bring it so there's only one of these pillars here. And you wanna destroy these two blocks. And then behind this block, you want to destroy all the way down 15. So starting from this block right here, do 15 all the way down. So that's your tunnel. You can obviously do it a lot bigger, but I'm just gonna do 15. Now you wanna come to the right side and destroy one, two, one, two, and one, two. So it's going to be a uh, two by three area. Do the same thing on the other side. And you want to destroy six down here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just do that again because I think I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So once you have that, you just want to basically destroy the same, same amount on either side. There you go. And then I'd say destroy just one layer up here just to give you a little bit of space to work with. And try not to destroy any of the obsidian if you don't have to. Yet again, that's protecting your bunker and you want to keep as much as that as possible. Also fill in the blank spaces because that will also protect your bunker. Next, what you want to do is place sticky pistons like this, two by two. Place two sticky pistons like that. And then our two blocks, that's going to be the doorway block. So like that, just follow along with me. Then you want to grab a block of your choice. I'm going to use quartz, build two blocks like that, destroy this top block. Um, then build one down like this, build one up over here. Build one, two, like that. Grab obsidian, place it up like this. Place um, your quartz down like that. And then you want to place a line of blocks like this. Destroy this block and that block and this block and place down redstone dust over there. And then going all the way down there with a redstone repeater here. Set that to a one tick delay or two tick delay. And set this to a four tick delay. And place redstone dust here and there, and there and there. Grab some more obsidian and destroy this block. Place obsidian here, here, there, and just basically all along the tunnel. But for now, just in those locations. Grab ourselves a lever just to test this out, make sure it's working. Retract it, and there you go. 
So now what we need to do is add in our T flip flop switch, which is going to go right over here. We need to grab ourselves a button. By the way, place on this block at this height. This is going to be where we're going to get a signal from that block. So we're going to take some redstone dust, redstone repeater, try and make this as compact as possible. Place a redstone repeater going towards that direction like that. Place a sticky piston going, oops, going up. Block on top, destroy that block. Block here, redstone repeater here. Take your piston facing this direction, block right over here, right center towards there. So now what we need to do is place a block right over there and just destroy the, some of these blocks for visibility reasons. Uh, build one up like this. Build, it has to go through here so what we're actually doing is um, getting the signal through this block. It's going to come here and activate this. So we need to, where's our other repeater? I need a repeater. Uh, place a repeater going there and then redstone like that. And then redstone repeater there. But I have to somehow figure out how to power this. Oh, okay. So it's going to get powered and we're going to power a bit of red sun dust here. There you go. There you go, I remember. And then it's gonna grab a signal on the other side using a red sun repeater. There you go. And press that button. Uh, is that not working? Oh, okay, so we need to place a bit of red sun dust there because I forgot there's an the extra block in that location. Now I need to like uh, replace this, which is going to be difficult. There we go. Boom. There's our working doorway. Next thing we want to do is uh, create a good old fashioned pattern. I'm going to start from, whoops. Oh yeah, I totally just messed that up. Okay, start from, um... yeah, don't start from there. Start from, right after the piston and we're just going to skip so like so like this see one up like oops oh, don't do that. Uh, one up here one down um, I guess you could put one down there and then one here one there and just do that for the entire tunnel that way you have like a layer of protection but either way let's uh, just finish up the redstone here and also uh, fix the redstone that we broke there you go. So to finish up this redstone, we need to add the floor. So let's let's finish out the floor first. It's just gonna be a very simple floor. We need to come over here in our little section and dig beneath the floor, specifically beneath this redstone torch. go we need to de delete two blocks underneath this entire floor so just dig all the way down okay we're all the way down to the end grab redstone lamps that's not a redstone lamp and place the lamps on the quartz I didn't actually know I was gonna delete the quartz I just remembered okay so I also got a Delete this one here and then another one here. So the course is where we're gonna place our torches. Also you gotta delete another layer on the side just for you to walk, you know? Um there you go. There you go, very simple. Red sun repeaters here, set the door for take delay. Going from one light to the other, one block to the other. Grab your redstone. You wanna make sure you put redstone repeaters going towards that direction over here because if you don't, this is just going to 
power this block and then this block is going to power redstone it's going to go in a circle so it's very important for any blocks that you're passing by to do that and you want to be able to also grab a signal from this so put the redstone dust there that way when the block goes over here it activates a bit of redstone dust staircase it down And then, uh, yeah, just bring it over there. Okay, so now that, that should be just the lighting for the tunnel now totally completed. Okay, so there we go. Now we need to just go ahead and hit that button. Closes, opens up, lights turn on, and there you go. Now the final thing to do is super simple. You just need to dig a hole straight up until you get to the surface. Then you just want to uh, clear the weather. And dig out an area here we could work with. So this could just be any size area. And I'm gonna build like the system this direction, so that's basically what I'm doing. It's gonna be the pistons are gonna be sitting here. So whatever direction your piston's sitting in is of course where you need to dig out your area. It needs to be three blocks beneath the ground. And you want to grab yourselves some of your sticky pistons and place two of them here facing towards this direction. One over here with a grass block on top of that. And we just need to power the system now by placing on a block over here. Digging out at the back of this. We can't place redstone dust at the top anymore because we won't be able to hide the system. We want to just do this here. It should, yep, there you go. Should be able to power everything. Place a redstone repeater here. Redstone repeater here. Set this to a four tick delay. This to a two tick delay. Set this up to one switch or just one bit of redstone hit that button and there you go just test it out works okay cool so now what we need to do is just add a t-flip-flop and then have that t-flip-flop hook up to a button at the bottom so this is very very simple guys um i'm not even sure if i should go over this it's been such a long tutorial all you need to do is um i'll make the t-flip-flop to show you guys um it's really quick it's just the hooking up the redstone part is, uh, is annoying, but just to snake it through. Um, I mean, not to snake it through, but to dig out uh, the space. But to make the T flip flop, say we have the uh, input over here, we just do like we've done before redstone repeater, uh, sticky piston facing up, uh, block on top. I'm pretty sure you could do this. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, then you want yourselves another redstone repeater going into a sticky piston facing any direction with a block on its face. And then the direction the sticky piston is facing has has to push the block over a redstone torch. And then you just put the redstone dust there. And then that's your T flip flop. So this will be the button down the cave. You hit that button, it keeps it up. Hit that button, pull it down. And then you would just put the ladders up here, and then you just put a chest with the ladders, and then you're done. So yeah, that's basically gonna wrap up that video, guys. It was uh, quite a long one. It didn't end up as perfect as I wanted, but I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please take one second to absolutely crush that like button. But anyways, this was Twist, and I'll see you guys next time.